African singer-songwriter Martin P. K. is joining me on Skype. Now he shot to fame in 2004 after winning the singing competition Coca-Cola Pop Stars. Now Martin's been on a two-year break and he's ready and back on the scene to release some hot new music. Martin, thank you for joining us. You've been on a two-year break. What have you been up to? Working, music, behind the scenes though. Um, traveling the world, trying to get inspiration, understanding what's going on out there. Um, spend uh, quite a lot of time in the U.S. Just understanding the sound, how they get it right, you know, to sell over five million copies. <laughs> you know, and um, so yeah, just doing a bit of research and working with a lot of choirs, also in South Africa as well, yeah. So I've just been behind the scenes, but still in the music scene. All right. Now, what have you been listening to to get inspired and, and um, while you were figuring out how to get it right? Who were you listening to? Wow, so many. I mean, they cross over from from the Wyman brothers all the way up to a Chris Brown, then back onto a Anthony Hamil Hamilton, um, Babyface, Boys to Men. I mean, this is some of the stuff that inspired me when I was growing up. So I want to get that inspiration back to produce music, timeless music rather. Yeah. Now, Martin, I think everyone wants to know, is Ghetto Lingo done for good? <laughs> it's actually very funny you asked that question. I had a chat with one of the members Yes, last night. Yeah, he was telling me that you need to, because I've got a record label, so he wants to, feed, um, to produce his stuff through my record label. I was like, wow, cool. So there might be something going on there. There might be something going on. Well, that's very exciting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I've not spoken to him in the last five years. So wow. now that you asked the question, it's quite like, like wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Now, yeah. we've heard you sing everything from Afropop, R&B to gospel. What can we expect yeah. now that you're back on the scene? Well, look, it's a full-on rhythm and blues, R&B soul album, motivational album, love-centered album. Um, it's an album where you can pump in the club and dance to it at the same time, leave with a message, you know. Um, that's who I am. I'm a father now. I'm a husband. So the content has to be clean, respectful, at the same time, get you getting on the dance floor, doing your thing. <laughs> now, what's it like to be a family man, like you said, a father uh, and a husband, and still, and still work in this industry and and work so hard to put, put out a yeah. good album. Yeah, well, my wife is one of my biggest critics and my biggest fans. Um, so having her in my corner has been a blessing. She's been part of the journey since day one. Um, and then, of course, you mentioned the kids, too. Um, being a dad, I mean, look, it's just, it's, it's, it's just amazing. It's awesome, you know, because now you're not living for yourself anymore, but you're living to, to take care of their future, to make sure that, you know, they are set in life, they've got an inheritance, and they can go forth and also take care of others, you know, so we're just building a legacy and um, working so hard, well, it's the nature of the game. If you want to be the best in the game, you have to put in the yards, you have to put in the time, it's time equity, it's mind equity, it's very demanding, but um, I pride myself in my craft and, I, and I, I'm going for the number one spot, so it means that I have to be the last, the first one in and the last one to leave, you know. Now, has this life change, being a family man now, has this influenced your music, has it made a change in any way? Of course, I'm thinking about love, baby. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, my wife. So if, if, if you do find a track of it, love, definitely you must know that my wife is definitely the inspiration for that. Uh, just purely because of the person who she is, and um, um, she's been an inspiring woman. I mean, during the tough times, you know, it can get quite rough in the music business. Um, she had to stand and be strong for both of us mm -hmm. while I'm still trying to figure things out. You know, sometimes you think of this master plan or this hit song, and it doesn't really come out. And um, yeah, so she's basically the inspiration of my material, yeah. 